Good morning, John here. Thought I'd do a complete walkthrough kind of overview of of my system now that I've got it fairly complete. Um, that's the Blue Eddy AC 300, and I've got four uh, the B 300 batteries. I'm this is my. Uh, racks that I made they're portable I, I'm, I'm thinking of, of redoing them in a, in a certain way I'm not exactly sure how but these have have had going on two years now and it's you can see it's just a, a hinge um, just uh, swivel casters I think these are eights I think the one over there I, I, I got tens and the one over there I've got two swivels and two uh, stationary these are all four station are all four swivel and then um, it's just two by fours and I've got it on about a 60 degree angle and I, I when I originally built them I had it on about a 45 and then I, I changed it to this for the winter the snow slides off better and you get a better angle of the sun in the winter and I the reason I didn't change them back is for the summer is I didn't really notice any difference I got a complete charge and then it works better for the morning hours in the in the in the uh, in the in the morning early morning the sun's coming up fairly low and then also in the evening hour it's I turn them to the to the west and it's a better so I, I figured out yeah, don't I didn't change it because how I changed it as I added this 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 section here and that's why I'm thinking I'm gonna redo them and make them a little more sturdy but it's just uh, see I got three three ten foot two by fours two let's see three four eights and then these two, um, wait, wait a minute now. Two, four, six, six eights, and these, and these, these here. And I've got in each array, I've got 12 100 watt Renogy panels. And to, to, to maintain the proper voltage for the AC 300, I've got one string in uh, series and another string in series. So two strings in series, and then I've got them, those, those strings I've got connected in, in parallel. You can see the, the little Y there. And the little Y down there, and then in in series, you know, you just do the negative to negative, positive to positive for one string, and then another string, and that gives me about 120 volts because I think the max on the AC 300 is about 150 volts. So that that's that, and then for wind, you can see the little strap over there. Keep it wound up there, and then I've got a one of the. We're gonna see if I can find it here. I got it. It's low enough so I don't hit it with the mower. It's been so dry I haven't mowed. Where'd it go? It's here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here it is. There it is. It's got a little. D ring on it there. I'll show it to you here. I got one in Brutus over here. Got a few extras, but this is what it is. And I just put these in with a uh, impact driver, with a nut driver. So far, so good. And then when I when there's a storm coming up, I just wheel it over to that and and put the uh, strap around it. And so far, I haven't had it had it fly away. <laughs> so, 
And then for the wiring, you can see I've got conduit coming up and I can actually put both arrays over on this side if I want. This winter when I don't have my garden, I'm gonna probably have them in the garden. But I've got ones not being used right now. And then this one's being used. And then this is just dug in a trench over to here. And then I've got the same thing. Um, you can't see it in the weeds there. This one goes to the house. I'll, I'll get to that here in a minute. I need, to, I need to weed whack the garden. Watch out for the ground bees. The ground bees have been bad this year. Okay, you can see here, this one goes underground. I dug a trench to that side of the garden. And then that feeds that one. And I can also do both arrays at this side because I've got a lot of trees out here and I have to be mobile <laughs> um, so sometimes I'll have them both out here and like right now I just for the summer months I've had one on at each end but in the winter time I move that one over here sometimes and then sometimes I'll have them both over there. It, it just it varies on where the trees are and the leaves. But those are just dug in in uh, in this uh, conduit. And then I've got an L and B there. And then I've got a trench for this one. This one here. It goes. You can still maybe see where the grass. It goes. Straight through here. I guess the grass. Well, yeah, you can still see the grass here where I trenched it. That's been almost two years now, and it comes up, yeah, through here, and then the LB, and I got it marked solar, 120 volts. That goes into my into my shop in my garage. I'm redoing this here. Um, I've got it all dug up here. Let me let me take you in the and then I, I kind of wished I'd have gone one size bigger on the conduit because if I go with another unit to get my split phase I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get all my wires through <laughs> through that one I may have to run another one I don't know I may not do that too but here let's walk over into the garage here shop Okay, then the L and B comes through. I'll turn the light on here. I don't know if you can see it down there behind the air compressor. L and B comes through right there, and then I've just got the cables running up and over. And down and into my um, this kind of an isolator. It just turns off. It turns off the. Um, a lot of people ask me what this box is on top of on top of here. It allows you to turn off and isolate the power coming in from the your PV array. It's just a PV array DC isolator. And then also if there's lightning in the area I'll disconnect here. And then you know so far I haven't had any and I don't have the panels grounded. I, I don't know maybe I should somehow but I don't have anything you know they're on those rubber wheels so far so good haven't had any hail um, oh one time I had a chance of hail and I, I wheeled the 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 uh, the arrays over underneath the big oak tree figured that would kind of you know 
protect them a little bit. But so far, so far, so good. I haven't gotten struck by lightning or or uh, hailed on. And then here is my my four batteries and AC 300. I've got it on a on a cart I built with casters. And I am running currently right now. I'm running two full size refrigerators and two chest freezers and a dehumidifier. And the house is drawing. Focus here. The, draw, the house is drying right now 782 watts. I'm bringing in 2,023 watts of solar. Um, the reason it's down, it's almost 11 o'clock, and it's down 65%. That's because the last two, three days have been cloudy. And... Um, I haven't ran the, I didn't run the dehumidifier those days, I just ran the the two refrigerators and two uh, chest freezers and it got down, I think it, I think, I think it was down to 59% this morning um, and, but generally this will get completely charged by noon and then um, and then it you know it shuts off and it just uses what's it just allows what to what come in to what's being used but anyhow that is the uh, current use of and the equipment that I've got and, I, and I've been contemplating getting another unit um, and then running the split phase and then be being able to here's my, my my generator be able to plug it in where I plug my generator in but I just I don't know I don't have enough space out there I'd have to have two more arrays and then I'd be moving you know, I, I think if I move, if I ever build another house, I'll I'll maybe do that, or I'll actually probably an up upgrade to the upgrade to the one of the newer systems that's all um, what is it the AC three nine hundred or whatever I can't remember the names uh, the number on it on the Blue Eddy now on the new one, but it's it's got the split face all in one, and then you can actually mount the thing outside. I'd probably go that route. I'd, I'd maybe just trade up or something. But so anyhow, for now, and I've had this one. Um, I haven't had all the batteries. So what I'm going to probably do when I have a year of running this system like it is a whole year, I'm going to average out the months because this, like this last month, I had pretty good savings, but now. Your worst months are in here in northern Illinois are uh, November and December because um, you have very little sun. So I figured I would average it out kilowatt hours um, and that would be, you know, the true test. So, oh well, anyhow, I hope this uh, you find this helpful and um, you have a blessed day. God bless.